Welcome YMCA members and guests. My name is Andrew and I will be your virtual instructor for today's lesson. Thank you for choosing the YMCA of San Francisco as your place for community and learning. We're so glad you're here. For this video, we're gonna be making a geodesic dome and the materials you'll need are a ruler, pipe cleaners, straight straws, and scissors. For the straws, you're gonna to need to get a pack with different colors in it because we're gonna be using two colors for this activity. So you're gonna choose two colors. One color will be your straw A, and the other color will be straw B. And for this example, it's kind of hard to see, but I have purple for my A and pink for my B. So after you choose your two colors, you're gonna take 18 of those straws. So 18 of your first color and 18 of your second color. So remember, choose one color to be your straw A, and the second color will be your straw B. Your A straws are gonna be longer than your B straws. So first you're gonna get your A straws, take your scissors and just cut them in half. You can use your ruler or you can also try to estimate it. So just cut that in half. And then you can, and then after cutting one straw, you can take your other straws and you can use the half straw that you already cut as a visual guide to help you cut the rest of your straws like this. And you keep doing that with the rest of your A straws. Now for your B straws, they're gonna be a little bit smaller than your A straws. And in order to determine the length for your B straws, it's gonna involve some math. So what you do is you measure an extra A straw from before you cut it in half. So mine's would be about seven inches. And then you had to cut it in half. So half of seven is 3.5. And then you would take that number and multiply it by 0 0.885. And that would equal about 3.09. So if you round that, that would be 3.1 inches. Now you don't have to be exact with the measurements, but just try to estimate. So you take an extra A straw that you didn't cut yet, measure it. And for me, it would be seven inches and then you had to cut your A straws in half. So for me, half of seven is 3.5. And then the measurement of your half straw now, you take that number, so for me it would be 3.5, and you take that number and multiply it by 0.885. And for me that would equal about 3.09, and if you round that, that would be 3.1. So then I would take one of my B straws, measure it to about 3.1, which is right there. And then I just make a little mark and then I just cut it. And your B straws should be a little bit smaller than your A straws. And again, you don't have to be completely accurate. Just try to estimate as best as you can. And like we did with the A straws, once you have your first B straw, then you can take your other straws for your B color and use it as a guide for cutting the rest of your straws. So here's your here's the first straw that I cut. Here are my other straws and then I can just cut along there and then I will have more straws of the same size. So once you have your straws cut out, then you're gonna start making pentagons. So first take one of your A straws and then take a pipe cleaner and then put it through the straw like this. And then you're gonna bend this part so that it stays secure in the straw. And then you're gonna take four more of your A straws for a total of five. And then you're gonna keep putting them into your pipe cleaner like this. And then if you need more pipe cleaners, just take another pipe cleaner from your bag and then just twist them together at the end like this. That way you'll have one long connected pipe cleaner. So then you take your, continue taking your straws, put them through the pipe cleaner like this and keep going until you have all five in there. So 
So once you're done, you should have this so far, five straws with the pipe cleaner inside them. Then you're gonna shape them into a pentagon. And then that end that we bent at the first, at the beginning, you're gonna take it and then tie it around here so that it stays in place. And then you should have your pentagon shape with this pipe cleaner sticking out. And now you're gonna take your B straw and then put it through here. But you're actually gonna need two, so go ahead and add another pipe cleaner if you need to. So going back to your pentagon, take one of your B straws and then put it through here, through your pipe cleaner. And then take another one for a total of two of your B straws. Put it through the pipe cleaner like this. And then it should look like this with your pentagon, the pipe cleaner sticking out, and two B straws. And then you're gonna take the end of your pipe cleaner here and bring it, bring it down so that we make a triangle shape like this on one of the sides of the pentagon. And then take your pipe cleaner and into the straw next to the triangle, you're gonna stick your pipe cleaner in and then pull it out through the other end. And then your pentagon should look like this. And then you're gonna continue doing that until we get around. So we're gonna make another triangle like this. So if you need more pipe cleaners, add another pipe cleaner and then add two more of your B straws into your pipe cleaner like this. Bring it down to make a triangle shape. You put your pipe cleaner in through the straw next to it like this, pull it out. And then once you have two triangles, for this last part, and then you're gonna take one B straw, put it through the pipe cleaner, and now you, you should have something like this with your pentagon, two triangles, and then you have the single straw on top, and now you're gonna bring those in, and then you're gonna tie up these center points right here. If you have some pipe cleaner remaining through this last part, then you can use it to tie it around. Otherwise, what you can do is take one of your pipe cleaners from your bag, use your scissors, and then cut up a small piece, and then use it to tie them together. this. Mine's a little messy, but once you're done, your pentagon should look like this. And then you're going to repeat this process and make five more pentagons for a total of six. And if you need more straws, just take one of your cut pieces and then take an extra straw from your bag and do what we did earlier, just measure it like this, use your scissors, and then cut along the edge right there. And then you can do that for your A straws and your B straws. Just remember that your A straws are slightly bigger than your B straws. So here are six pentagons that I made earlier, and now we're gonna make them into a dome. So first you're gonna take some pipe cleaners, I would say about three or four, and connect them together at the ends, like we did earlier, so that we can have this long piece. And then take one of your pentagons as the center piece, and you're gonna take your pipe cleaner and put it through one of the sides. So I'll go ahead with this side, and you're just gonna try and stick your pipe cleaner through to the other side and then just bend it a little bit right here so that it stays secure so now you should so now one of your pentagons should have this long um, pipe cleaner attached to it then you're going to take a second pentagon choose a side and put the pipe cleaner through one of the sides like this And 
might be a little bit hard to get it through because of the ends where they connect, so just try your best to squeeze them through. Until you get it in all the way, like this. So now you should have two connecting pentagons like this. Then you take another pentagon, put the long end of your pipe cleaner through one of the sides. So we'll go with this side. Put it through all the way. Remember to try to squeeze through. Like this. And then you keep repeating this until you have all your pentagons. And then you repeat this process by taking your pentagons and sticking the pipe cleaner through one of the sides and you continue until you have all your pentagons on the pipe cleaner. Once you're done putting all the pentagons through the pipe cleaner it should look a little something like this and then you're just gonna shape them together kind of like a puzzle so the first one should be your centerpiece and you're just gonna try and center it in and then just try to fit and then just try to fit them all together like a puzzle until you have a shape like this. Kind of like a flower. And then from here what you can do is you can take a pipe cleaner and you can use it to tie the pentagons in place. So first we can take a regular pipe cleaner cut a small portion of it and then we can tie this end together and that will help it stay together and then you can continue doing that for any other places that look loose until it's all secure and tied up and once you're done tying up any of the loose areas then when you pick it up by the center the sides will drop and it'll kind of look like a dome. So you can see as I turn it around, it kind of has a dome shape. It's not completely equal, but this is how it should kind of look. And then if you wanted to make a sphere, then all you have to do is make a second version of this and then once you have that, you can use the pipe cleaners to tie the ends on the bottom to it, and then both halves will connect to each other, and then you would have a sphere. And that is how you make a geodesic dome. Thank you for participating in virtual lessons with the YMCA of San Francisco. We're also offering lots of other fun lessons, so please be sure to check them out. Thank you for being a part of our YMCA community, and we'll see you again soon.